what is going on everyone it's super here and i'm bringing you guys another injustice 2 video and today we're just gonna go over a couple of you know i guess scenarios and you know just tweets from ed boone and i want to create a little discussion here in the comment section so you guys can participate leave a comment of what your opinions are on this specific topic or i guess these specific topics these tweets and uh, you know the question so before I do that I just want to ask you guys if you could please leave a like rating on the video you know what's funny about YouTube right YouTube somehow fixed itself and you know videos were hitting sub boxes um, you could tell from views from like three days ago four days ago and everything was doing fine and then all of a sudden like two days ago it started being the same as before like videos wouldn't hit sub boxes etc etc so it kind of sucks so all your support is appreciated and a like definitely helps out so thank you guys for that but now let's get on to the actual topic of the video so a couple things that i want to talk about first i want to point out this tweet from ed boone following up on the poll of robin nightwing and red hood ed boone put out a poll a couple days ago and asked people who do you want to see in injustice the most and it was a poll between red hood nightwing and robin damian wayne robin and then he followed it up, which he always does for all his polls. And he said, so you guys really want to see Red Hood 2. That was very, very interesting. So it's pretty much like him saying that he wants Red Hood to be an Injustice 2. The same as all you guys who voted, including myself. So if Ed Boon wants a character in his video game it's not technically his video game but i mean like he is the biggest of like he's the toppest of top and a lot of decisions i'm sure go through him and the other guys you know part of the team but of course if ed boon wants something he's gonna get it he's even said this before if he wants something he's gonna get it and if he's saying that he wants uh red hood to then that means that he has a really, really, really good chance of making it into Injustice. So I just wanted to update you guys on the poll and, you know, pretty much saying that Ed Boon wants Red Hood as much as all of us. So that's pretty cool right there. Very, very good chance of him making it into the game. Uh, so moving on here, a couple other tweets before I get on to the main topic um, someone asked Ed Boon if uh, Ghost Rider would be a possibility or would be cool in the game. And then, you know, Ed Boon didn't deny it, which whenever someone tweets at him something, um, for example, like someone someone tweeted at him something about the Power Rangers being in Injustice 2 and he straight up said no. So when Ed Boon doesn't respond with saying no, then that means that there's a chance. I know that Ghost Rider is Marvel for sure, um, but... I think that for characters who are not the Avengers or like the really, really, really popular characters for Marvel, I think a deal could be made for a guest character in Injustice. Call me crazy, but I think that could happen. So that's why I was thinking like, um, you know, characters like the X-Men or, you know, possibly Ghost Rider would have a chance of making it into Injustice 2 probably a two percent three percent five percent chance something like that but it's still there like the possibility is still there so just wanted to you know bring that up but now let's get on to the actual topic of the video which is what ninja from mortal kombat x is going to make it into injustice as a guest character so our choices are sub-zero which would probably be the most obvious choice of them all but i'll show you guys some tweets from ed boone maybe hinting at others we have ermac which his power set would be awesome in injustice 2 they could work with him a lot um and you have reptile which is another character that they could you know potentially do a lot with so all these ninjas are good as guest characters for injustice 2 so before i get into talking about what my opinions are and you know all that good stuff I want you guys to write in the comments which of these three ninjas would you want to see as a guest character in Mortal Kombat or in Injustice 2? Would you want to see Sub-Zero, Ermac, or Reptile? Because no matter what happens, we're going to get the palette swap, but the attributes and the specials are still going to be the same unless they just go... They just go above and beyond to make the Mortal Kombat guest character that is a ninja 
if maybe they get their special powers changed. I don't know if that's going to happen, something like with Triborg and its variations. I don't think they could do that because it's not a variation game. It's just one character. So let's just say that they have Sub-Zero in there. I don't think they'll go that in-depth to where if you get a specific armor piece, it changes its moves to like... Ermax moves, you know what I mean? I don't think they would ever go that deep into it because it'll make it'll make it really, really hard. You know what I mean? I think that's a task that's too big, too big of a thought because there's no variations in here. Um, so in my opinion, I think the best ninja to make it would be Ermac because Ermac's movesets are so cool. You know, he has the levitate, he could have the soul ball, um, he could have the float, which fits in very, very well with the Injustice universe because you have characters that could float up in the air. And I think out of all the ninjas that are left, or the, uh, except for Scorpion, I think Ermac, power-wise, would fit in a lot in the Injustice universe. And I think, you know, out of all these characters, I know Ermac is, Ermac is my favorite ninja, but I think, you know, just power-wise, gameplay-wise, and, oh my god, just imagine his look. Please do not make him look like a mummy ever again. Please, I beg you. There's some sick artwork at the beginning. I'll show you guys, like, the early, early, early artwork for Ermac that was shown. Like, he had, he looked like a, um, he, he kind of looked like a wizard. And he had, like, a robe coming down on his head, like a hooded robe. And it looked so sick. It was covering his face. It looked awesome, and then they went with the fucking mummy look, which I I don't hate, but come on, man. You're talking about the red ninja of hype. That's fucking Ermac. Um, so I'll, just imagine, like, the redesign that they would give Ermac. It, it would look awesome. And plus the gear system, he would have a bunch of different costumes, maybe from previous games. That would be awesome. But a ninja is going to make it no matter what. It just depends which one is it going to be. Is it going to be Reptile, which Ed Boon had tweeted, Reptile in Injustice 2, question mark? That one, I was like, whoa, 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 hey, calm down, man, calm down. <laughs> I thought that was, like, too obvious, but hey, Ed, Ed Boon has actually tweeted obvious things that end up being true, so it could end up being true that Reptile is the one that's chosen. Um, so far, Sub-Zero, you know, he won the poll. He was the only ninja in the poll. And he, uh, you know, he followed up the poll and said, we hear you. So Sub-Zero right there. And he was also tweeting about Big Macs, you know, obviously. Probably, you know, referring to, to Ermac. He's always giving us these little trolls here. So he's been tweeting about ninjas quite a lot. And, uh, you know, it, it gives me, it gives me hope that we might see Ermac. I'm fine with Sub-Zero. Don't get me wrong. I'm fine with Sub-Zero because he could be cool, too. He could have the Ice Ball, the Ice Clone. He could have the Parry. He could have a lot of things implemented from his MKX version of the three variations. You know, same thing with Reptile. He could have the Flash Slowdown as his trait as well. I don't think they would duplicate traits. Maybe there would be some sort of difference there. Um, but he could have the Stinky damage over time. Uh, and of course he could go invisible that could be his trade he could go invisible as his trade because the flash already has the slow down time so i don't think they would double down on that unless there was uh traits from for multiple characters that were identical i don't know in the comment section let me know i completely forgot i haven't played injustice in like two months because there hasn't been any news for injustice 2 so i haven't been motivated to play the game so i'm not really hyped about playing it at the moment but good thing is that it's on PS or it's on Xbox 360 and Xbox One now. It's backwards compatible finally. So once it, it comes down time to, you know, for the Injustice characters to be revealed and they start doing all that shit again uh, and we get hype for it, I'm definitely going to be buying Injustice on the Xbox 360, the Legacy Edition, so I could play it on the Xbox One because... There's literally no one that plays it on the PS4. I have it on the PS4. It looks great, all that good stuff. It's fine to play training mode, single player, all that. But if I actually want to play versus people, you know, come down to uh, in time when Injustice 2 is going to get, be getting released and I want to play it a lot, then uh, the, the Xbox 360 is the version to go with. And plus, I have a friend that I could definitely train with if 
I do end up getting it on the 360. So it's going to be fun. All right, guys. So that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, again, let me know in the comment section which ninja do you want to see as an MK guest character. I don't think they're going to have multiple. I think they're just going to have one. Um, but we'll see what happens, guys. Any more news and information from Ed Boon or Nether Realm, I'll keep you guys updated. But that's going to be it. I will catch you guys next time. What's going on guys, it's Super here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you guys subscribe or check out any of these videos linked at the top. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time.